Hey guys, same for my next update for my non makeup rolling project pan. I will have my playlist linked up in the cards so you guys can see all the videos that I've done so far this year. And I thought I would have a few empties this month, but I ended up with seven products, which I feel pretty good about. So, four of the seven products were skincare. The first one, oh, this is so sad the Clinique City Block Purifying Charcoal Clay Mask and Scrub. You can see I've been working on this for forever. I've been using it for over a year. So, absolutely got my money's worth. And this is a product where they have changed the name slightly and they have redone the packaging. I am not sure if they've changed the formula. I really hope not. I do see Clinique Skincare at TJ Maxx a lot. So the past couple times I went, I did look for it. I wasn't able to find it, but I will keep looking because this is a pricey product. I have it saved on my loves list and my wish list on Sephora and Ulta so I can see if it goes on sale but this is the best face scrub i've ever used it has more of a sandy consistency which i find is perfect i feel like for me with sugar scrubs they dissolve too quickly and more of like a walnut scrub just scratches your face but doesn't really do much this is so nice i feel like i'm really getting into my skin and cleansing it but it hasn't overly dried my skin out or given me any issues this is a holy grail product of mine i will repurchase even maybe even just 20, 25% off because it lasts me such a long time. But I will also keep an eye on the Clinique website because they do some nice sales and free gifts. Next, I finished the two mini moisturizers I rolled in last month. First is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I was using this as my daytime moisturizer and I think that this is very nice. And it's more hydrating than I remember it being in the past, but still worked really well for me for daytime, especially because this is spring. It hasn't been too hot yet, except for a few days. This is nice. I would love to use up some more in the future. Not something I would repurchase. I do still like my Belief Aqua Bomb a little bit better, but this is a very nice product. It is a cream, but a lightweight one. And then I use the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. This is green tinted. I had started using this as a night cream and I misjudged it. This is really more of a day cream. It's not super duper hydrating. It's a thinner consistency. This was okay. I do like the Drunk Elephant better. I probably would pass it on if I got some more of these just for other people to try. I know my friend Jean really likes Peach and Lily skincare, but if I had to pick one over the other, I would pick the Drunk Elephant. And then my last skincare empty would be the Replenix Glycolic Salicylic 5-2 Clarifying Pads. I've been working on these since July of last year. Originally, I was using these at night on days where I did not wear makeup. And that has been very few and far between, which is why I had three, four, two uses up until March. And then for March and April, I decided to try this out as a toner in the morning on days where I did not take a shower the night before. So that's how I was able to get through these and I did like these in that capacity. They didn't feel too harsh on my skin. These are a really nice product. I don't know if I would repurchase them. I feel like I like using just a regular toner instead of some like toner pads, exfoliating pads like these are, but if I got them in PR again, I would happily use them and likely in that way. But the toner pads, clarifying pads in my collection have definitely been neglected. So I am hoping to get through more of them this year, likely using them in that toner replacement capacity. Then I finished up three body products, but only one of them was in this project. This is the Maley's Get Silky Breast Exfoliating Stick and I actually poked through with my fingernail to get the last little bits in here. I was lucky enough to get this in PR. I used it eight times in the month of April to finish it completely. This is something I started using in January and I was able to get 34 uses out of this and it was really nice. I do feel like I get some clogged pores. I get pretty oily in my chest area. So this has been so nice to use and it's so convenient being in a stick form. It didn't feel too harsh, 
but you definitely could tell that it was exfoliating. You can get Maylees on their website and they're also available at Ulta, but definitely recommend this product. And then I used up the body wash that had been in my travel bag. This is the Olay Ultra Moisture Shea Butter. This smells so good. Mm, and it is a nice creamy body wash, nice and hydrating. This is definitely something that I would love to purchase in the future. Really love the consistency and the scent and it did lather nicely. And then I feel like I just used up a hand sanitizer a couple months ago, but this is a good thing. I'm cleaning my hands. So I used up the Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple hand sanitizer. And I only have, I think, one more Bath and Body Works one left. And then I have some other brands. But this is something that I will definitely repurchase in the future when they have them like five for five or some sort of deal like that. But this has a lovely scent. It might dry my hands out a little bit, but I don't mind. I would rather that than have more of a sticky finish like some hand sanitizers do. And then I only have one declutter product this month, so I figured I would show it to you now, and that would be this little sample size of the Mega Babe Space Bar Detoxifying Charcoal Underarm Bar. I am working on one of these right now, and I know it is going to take me ages and so far it's okay but nothing super special so I would rather pass this on to someone. So now we are on to the products that I'm still working on and some roll-ins. So starting with hair care products for shampoo. Still working on the Derma E Scalp Relief Shampoo. I'm absolutely loving this. So I was right here last month. Now I'm down to here. I feel like I'm going to be working on this probably until September or so. Then for conditioner, I'm using the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock. And I told you guys last month that I felt like my hair was a little bit more oily. And this is a really hydrating product. When I have done it ears down, I have no issues. But there have been some days where I had just a little bit left in my hands and I ran through the top of my hair and then I felt too oily. But this has a great scent. I love what it does for my hair. I just have to stop in the right place. So I was up here last month, now down to here. So again, I see this lasting me maybe until the end of July or August. Then for my leave-in hair product, it is the Way Leave-In Conditioner, just a mini size. I was there last month, now down to here. So if I keep at the same rate, this should be done by next update. And then lastly for hair, Last month I had rolled in the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo Mini. This is just a one ounce size. I only used it once over the past month. This is a really nice product, but I only use it on days where I've gone extra long without washing my hair or if I have done dry shampoo two or more days in a row. Next I want to show you some foil samples that I would like to use up. I should be able to get through all of these in a month, but sometimes I get very lazy about foil samples because they can be just kind of finicky and I do usually like to use them in sample jars but my sample jars are occupied with some project pan items right now so we'll see what ends up happening but I'm going to hope for the best so I have got two SPFs the super goop super screen daily moisturizer SPF 40 I don't think I've tried that one before and then from K skin the Isle glow face lotion SPF 45 then for serums, I think I'll use this one for the daytime, the Natasha Genona Hygien Skin Glass Energizing and Hydrating Primer Serum. And then for nighttime, the Shani Darden Retinol Reform. Give it a go. Then for daytime moisturizer, Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. And then nighttime moisturizer, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And then for eye cream, the Caudalie Premier Crew Eye Cream. So again, I picked out some products for a couple of different steps, but we'll see how I do with actually using them. Moving on to skincare products for makeup remover. I've actually been using two different cleansing balms. I do agree with you guys and I decided I wanted to test out some of these drugstore ones while I still had my Clinique. But I have used a ton of this since last month as you can see. This is the one that I'm keeping in my shower. And then on my sink, when I'm removing my makeup but not taking a shower afterwards, I am using the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I 
have a nice little dip in here. I'm really loving this one. So far, the scent is not my favorite, but the formula is fantastic. So I'm gonna keep using this combo for this month and then I'll move on to one of the other ones for the following month. For cleanser, still trekking through this philosophy purity cleanser. So I was there last month, now down to here. So I, again, think this might take me through the end of August. For face scrub, this is all that I have left. I got this in a subscription box a while ago. This is New Reflection Complexion Perfecting Polish. And it definitely looks like a little bit more of a putty. It is pretty intense. It has more of that sandy feel to it. So you don't need a whole ton. I don't know how full this jar is, but I still feel like it will take me a while to get through because you really don't need very much which is of course great because I don't have any other face scrub right now. So then for toner on the days where I did take a shower the night before I in the morning used the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray as my toner. So there were times where I tried spraying it right on my face but I feel like I like the satisfaction of using a cleansing pad and like getting in there. So I did pour this on a cleansing pad and it just does not have the same feel as a toner for me. But I did make some good progress. I went from here to here. So it's possible I could finish this in a month, but I don't think I want to use this as a toner anymore. I'm going to go back to using this as a mist after my toner and I want to focus on this mini. It is newer to me, but my other full size toners are actually pretty new as well. And I have other minis that I can save for traveling. So this is the Peach and Lily Good Acids Pore Toner and just a one fluid ounce size. I've used this before and I really like it. And brand new, we're starting out right here. And for my serums, I have some weights, but I was able to make some markings on the Murad, when you hold it up to a light, you're able to see through it pretty well. So this is the Murad Vita C Glycolic Serum. So I was there last month, now down to here. So I rolled this one in two updates ago and brand new, it weighs at 3.72 ounces. Last month it was 3.356 ounces and today it's weighing 3.157. So this might take me through the end of August as well. That might be a real big update. Then for my nighttime serum, I have the Drunk Elephant TLC Frambus Glycolic Night Serum. And I really did not use this as much this past month. I was worried that it would be too harsh on the days where I also used my scrub, but I'm just gonna try it and see what I think. And I had started working on this towards the beginning of the year. So brand new, I think brand new weighed 3.429 ounces, then went to 3.27. Last month, 3.025, now 2.921. So still some progress, even though I only use this maybe half the time. Then for my daytime moisturizer, I'm using the Replenix Age Restore Brightening Moisturizer. And when I rolled this in, in February, brand new, it was 3.736 ounces. Last month was 3.388. Today it's weighing 3.149. And then my nighttime moisturizer is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Making some decent progress in here, but I really don't need a ton of this, so this should last me for several more months. For eye cream, I'm using the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Still a lot in here as well. Not in a rush, and I absolutely love this. And then for my sunscreen, I'm using the Everyday Humans Resting Beach Face SPF 30 Sunscreen Serum. I'm not able to make a new line. I definitely did use this this month, but I did use it a little bit less. I'm trying to savor it. So on days where I knew I was literally not going outside at all, I did not use it. But I do have another sunscreen now. I have the e.l.f. Woe Glow. But... I do have those foil samples that I might focus on. So this might not move a whole ton either, which is fine. This doesn't expire until 2025. And lastly, we have body products and I have a lot going on here. I am going to be introducing some new things. And I'm, even though I'm about to have a baby in a couple of months, I'm really hoping that this summer 
I will be good about using my body products. I've been a little bit better so far this year. So I want to get started on these things for the month of May and just see what kind of progress I can make. So first I have my CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser and there has been a huge jump in progress here. I went from here to here. One day I use this to try to break up some makeup remover gunk from my makeup eraser dupes and it worked decently well for that and then there were a couple days I tried this as a body wash because this is going to take me so long just using this on my arms and I'm not you know noticing a ton of crazy results so I have decided this is going to be my new body wash I'm almost halfway through a Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works but I'm just going to set that one to the side and try to hopefully knock this out by the end of August. Then along with that on the KP on my arms, I want to start using the Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. I've used this on my KP before and I have quite enjoyed it. I like it a little bit better on my arms than I do on my face. This is brand new, so this is something that I will track the uses on and next this is going to be a pretty big challenge for me just a regular body scrub the tree hut shea sugar scrub in coconut lime a really nice scent this is a very large jar and i'm so bad about using body scrubs but again i do think that this would be really nice this is a great summer scent i have two full sizes i've had them for about a year so I would love to see if I could get through this in four months. Then I have two underarm products that I'm rotating between, one of them being a little sample size of the Mega Babe Space Bar Detoxifying Charcoal Underarm Bar. I used it five times in April. And then I also have the Mega Babe Happy Pits Detoxifying Underarm Mask. I used this four times in the month of April. And I would just love it if I could finish these by the end of the year, but we'll see. Then I have some more lotion type products I want to be using again on my arms. Still going to be rocking with the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Lotion for rough and bumpy skin. I was there last month, now down to here. So again, mostly consistent progress. It hasn't been quite four weeks since my last update and... Again, if I can finish this by the end of the year, I'll be happy. Next is a product that I got in PR last year that I want to make myself use. And this is the Topicals Slather Exfoliating Body Serum. And it's exfoliating because it has retinol, lactic acid, urea, and squalane. So I'm excited to see what I think of this. It says slather on your body two to three times a week or more as tolerated and you guys know how bad I am with body products so two to three times a week sounds realistic for me and I will be tracking the uses but brand new we are also starting out right here and then the lotion I had been using in April is this little mini of the Belief Aqua Bomb Hydrating Body Moisturizer. I don't find it to be super hydrating, so it's something that I'm mostly going to just be using on my hands, and I am approximately down to here. All this progress was just used on my hands, and I used it six times. And lastly for body, we have my Maley's get sprung stretch mark oil i only used it four times in the month of april definitely need to step it up and i'll put a picture on the screen of where i was at last time so guys those are my empties for the month of april and all the products that i'm going to be working on i know i've added in a lot of things but i want to challenge myself to be consistent with using these products so we'll see how i do i definitely want to try to get into the routine before my baby comes and then we'll see if I can keep up with it but I want to be determined but I would love to know what hair skin and body products that you guys have used up recently what you're using right now do you like it do you not like it and I of course am also doing a year-long makeup project pan and also my spring project pan so definitely check that out if you want to see some makeup projects I want to thank you all so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon bye guys